mind the fact that I look tired, okay? I am sleepy. I am exhausted, okay? But that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn about this hair growth oil, okay? So let's get into it. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. The first day that I started using this oil may not be included in this video. If it is not, I will leave the details down below. Um, yeah, and hopefully you guys don't hate me for not being able to include the first day. But I hope you enjoy this. I found out about this brand's growth oil through Instagram. They are called The Glam Room. They have quite a few photos and videos of people's results. And I also noticed that they have skincare. So depending on my results for this, um, I may try out the skincare. I feel like my skin has just been getting back on like the good side of things. So I may not risk it. But as far as the results they've been doing, uh, as far as the results they've been showing, um, it seems like people have been having good results. My package came in a small brown box. It did have the packing peanuts, which I don't know why so many people include these in their packages. I feel like, um, I know like the purpose of them, but I really do not like the peanuts. <laughs> if I recall correctly, I got the two ounce bottle, which is the smallest. I got that size because I just wanted to do like this trial. And then if it does end up working well, I will go up a size either to the four ounces or the six. Um, but then these are just the little papers or um, like stuffers if you want to call them that that came in the box as well like I said before I filmed day one on my DSLR camera and I did not redo the footage so this is going straight to I believe day two day two of the oil I'm actually getting ready for work so sorry if I look rough and if the footage isn't great um, this part right here like these two braids right here and right here I'm actually seeing a difference. They feel a little looser, um, but I don't know if that's just because of the braids adjusting to my head or if it's actually looser or not. Um, but it's day two. This is what my hair is looking like. This side, my edges, I really uh, need some work um, go all over. My edges kind of, I want them to grow more, so. We're gonna put the oil on for day two and see how that goes. Moving too much. Okay. So I am gonna I do shake it. I think you're supposed to do that. It did, I don't know if it came with directions. Oh yeah, I think it did come with directions, but I don't have it right now. So I'm gonna put it down the middle of my head. The next time that I use the oil, I will be more precise as far as where I'm actually putting the oil. But throughout this video, I was pretty much just um, greasing up my whole head. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's coming out evenly or not. Um, hopefully a good amount is being dispersed all over my head. Um, and then I do my edges. I'm going to rub it in on the edges. It's, it smells really good. Like the peppermint, you can really smell. Thank you. I don't want to do too much because my hair is going to be oily at the end of this and I don't want it to be too, too, too greasy. Um, and also because I'm going to work my hair, uh, I did put my scarf back on. I'm only, I'm not going to do my edges every day. I'm just going to kind of brush them back so they don't look complete mess. Um, just so that the product can actually, you know, be in the hair and the edges. And um, we'll come back tomorrow and show you um, what it's like. And I put my scarf on and kind of do like this to the hair also because you're supposed to massage it in. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I get every part. I don't want to slack on putting it. I don't want to put too much, but also I don't want to not put enough. So yeah. All right, and we're gonna tie my head down now and see what results we get. We'll be back tomorrow. So it's another day. I'm getting ready for work again. <laughs> um, so I might look a little rough. But this is what we're looking like. Uh, let's zoom in. So 
so my hair is getting a little frizzier and it is getting a bit looser. Um, I don't know if that means it's growing or if the oil is just making my braids slip a little bit. Um, I can't really tell 100% if there's actual growth or not. I don't want to say like I feel like it does just because I'm a mad. I want to imagine it. <laughs> Is it looking a little frizzy, y'all? Let me show y'all the rest of the head, though. This is... Boom. I can flip some of the braids, though, which I could already do before. So I don't know if that's just the braids getting loose. Like I said before, if it's just getting loose or not. And I did put some in the back today. It does feel a little bit better as far as the tightness in the back. It's just tight and hard to do this now. It's not very much so tight like I was hard to do that. Um, but it's good that the braids adjusted, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's show the back. Don't mind the one big, real big braid I got in the back. Uh, I'll just... <laughs> this is what it's like. I did shake it up a bit this time, just go around. Because it had a lot of the, like this. I think that's um, the rosemary, if I'm correct. Um, okay, so. I'm not gonna go too heavy today. I stay back and then I'll go in heavy. And so far, for the past two days, um, only on the first day, I think only the first day, I actually, no, the second day, I actually didn't put it in twice. I only did it once in the morning and then went to sleep and forgot to put it the following day. So, boom, 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 boom. Hopefully, I got it enough. And I do rub it down the hair shaft so that it's not just the roots. And also that the oil isn't just sitting right there. So and I'm gonna tie my hair down. Like I said, I do before. I tie it with this. Um, yup. So just to clarify, when I was applying the oils, I went straight down my head, then I went row by row across the sides and then also across the back of my head. And then I also did the edges and then rub the edges, then put on my scarf and rub the rest of my hair. And also um, throughout certain, certain times, uh, before I put my scarf on, I also rub a little bit of the oil down the hair shaft.
On certain days, I added moisturizer to my hair. This is me just showing you what moisturizer it was. Here I am just showing you how much of the product I've used so far. I try not to make this video too long, but because I wanted to show you the full extent of the process, um, I did end up having a pretty lengthy video. But I hope you all are enjoying it. And this is one of those moments where the particles from the bottle have gotten into my hair and I have to kind of dig it out. And like I constantly say in the videos, I am sorry if you hear my birds in the background. Comment down below and let me know if this is a product you've tried before and if you liked it. Um, or you can leave a comment on what product you do use that is different from this that you live by and love. So this is a gel that I've been using. I got it about a, maybe two months ago, also with a curling gel. So when I try a twist out or braid out, I will also be using that one. This one I used for a slick ponytail and it works really well. So I want to see how it will work on my edges, but you have to be careful with certain gels that you use on your edges 
because it can dry your hair out, um, also dry your skin out and cause breakouts and your hair to break off as well. Did y'all just see me try and hulk my way through that string on the shirt? <laughs> what a shame. So tonight is the night of, I think, the seventh day of me using the growth oils. Um, I'm going to actually put it on my hair again show you guys where I'm at so far with the oils I haven't been doing my edges I've just been um putting the oil and then from time to time a little bit of um leave-in conditioner but I haven't been doing the normal like edges um or like doing my edges like I usually do today was actually the first day that I did them and uh I, I did notice a slight difference um but it could just be in my head you know when i do certain things like this i try not to be like oh my god look at that look at that look at that like like super nitpicky on every small little thing um until i'm at the final review of like the progress um so yeah i'm going to show you all what it looks like on day i believe it's day eight could be day seven not 100 percent sure um but yeah i'm gonna finish it finish this week out which I think will make two weeks of me using the product. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like um, on day eight because that was one of the, one of the, what is the word? Um, one of the claims was that someone had very significant, uh, someone had a significant amount of growth after only seven, no, three to eight days. I think it was, I think they said they noticed growth within three days. And then by the eighth day, there was, like, significant, like, visual growth that you could actually tell. Like, oh, yeah, their hair has grown, you know. Um, let's look at the progress. And then we're going to get, no, let's, let's get into the eighth day. And then I'll show you the progress. Either way, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Just going to do a quick little update. This is what my hair is looking like. I haven't filmed um in probably like a day or two because for one i just got my wisdom tooth out and so i haven't really filled up to it but um you can definitely kind of see that my hair is getting a lot more frizzy um the parts are becoming less noticeable but i don't know if there's any like actual significant growth um the braids are a little bit looser i don't know if y'all can really see or tell i have to do a different video but the braids are getting looser and I don't know if that's just because of the slip from the product like I said before or if it's actual gross you know um they do feel like they're kind of growing um the significance of the of the point of where the girl in the video that they showed um if it's like that much growth or not but um yeah i've done my edges i am hot right now so y'all see me sweating off i like super shiny it's because of that it's 90s today 80s 90s what feels like the hundreds 100s so yeah it's really hot and i don't have ac <laughs> or a fan in my bathroom um so yeah this is where we are at right now with the hair growth i think this is either day eight or nine I think nine or 10 maybe actually. And I have yet to put the oil. I'm gonna put the oil in after this, do my edges and then head out. Cause I'm actually going to work today. Um, yeah, I'm really hesitating. Like I'm putting this on my hair today and 
on this as well. We're gonna move quickly today. I look probably a little rough. Um, this tea is so good this morning. I'm still getting ready for work, so I'm pretty sure I look rough. I look crazy. Um, this is what things are looking like. My hair. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the serum on it this morning and then come back to you all later um, to see the progress and show you. I think today is the either 12th or 14th day of me using this. I think it's been two whole weeks now. Um, so yeah, we'll see the process. The time frame originally was from first day to the third day and then the third day to the eighth day because those are when I've seen posts about like the most progress or whatever like people seeing the fastest growth um but um yeah we're gonna see uh I'm gonna put pictures uh I didn't I actually haven't taken a ton of pictures um but yeah we're gonna do the first day versus today um yeah and see where we're at Hey everyone so i know i look super rough right now but i'm getting ready to take out my hair so i decided that i wanted to show you all the progress of how it looks after i finished um after i finished doing this hair growth treatment not treatment but this hair growth challenge um it's been i did the eight days then i went to 14 days and then after the 14 i was still kind of using it on and off um but I wasn't as dedicated to it as I originally was just for the sake of the challenge. Um, Because after that, I was like, okay, you know, I could see myself using this long term and continuing to use it. But I don't know. Like, I think it works. I do think it actually works. But I won't be able to truly tell you if it works or not until I take out my braids. Um, and I know I look rough, y'all. So don't judge me. I'm just trying to do this real quick so I can take out my hair and then, you know, do what I need to do for the rest of the day. Um... Yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like. Let's start with the edges, okay? And I am right here in the light. This might not be good that I'm right, like, directly in the light. Um, but this is what my edges are looking like. I might need to go into the bathroom instead because um, I don't know if it'll be a better view or not. But this is what the edges are looking like. Um, my edges are a struggle area for me as well as, like, this center part of my head because I like to lay on my back a lot like this. I do feel like the product was working this is this is where we're at right now with it like um I don't know if like I can't tell if my hair actually grew or if it was just slipping because of the amount of oil I was putting in it um it is pretty frizzy and kind of just like all over the place because I did go swimming um and that is also why it's so frizzy and that was the last this might be sideways also I don't know y'all my bad if it is um, like I said I'm just trying to do this real quick so before I get ready for the rest of my day um, or actually before I take this out and then do what I need to do for the rest of my day because I plan on having a super productive day but um yeah so let's see the side this is my left side and this is my right side it might be flipped but this is how the sides are looking hopefully y'all can see I can't really look and show show y'all so I'm gonna go through each side portion of my hair. Like there's some areas that look like, oh yeah, there's definitely growth, there's definitely growth, and the others where I'm like, mm, I don't know, like I can't really tell. And in the middle, like I showed before, now I'm gonna do this side. Hopefully y'all can see, I'm hoping y'all can see. <laughs> Um, and do y'all tell me if you see growth or not, any change or enhancements? Um, so let me show y'all the actual back of my hair. This is the back. 
I did use rubber bands on the back half of my head and the front half does not have rubber bands. Um, Yes, everyone. Um, that is my journey or challenge using the all grown out hair growth oil by the Glam Room. I did enjoy using this. I do think I will continue to use it. Um, I may even get a bigger bottle. Only thing is that this, I believe this is a rosemary. When you, the more you use this, the more these are going to come out. And that is something that you'll have to like check and look at and look for because you may want to keep those little pieces in your head because you know to really work but for me personally i don't really want like a bunch of these little things in my hair um, especially if i'm not going to wash my hair soon um so for me that was a slight drawback the ingredients are on here i don't know if y'all can tell it says peppermint oil lavender oil rosemary oil castor oil aloe vera and sage oil but yeah like i said i enjoyed this it can be used on babies adults men um all of that i believe i saw i said it was can be used for beards as well things like that so i most likely i'll finish this see if i can actually see a change because a lot of times these products they say it takes like up to like from one to three months to actually see it working so for me to see that picture of the girl on her page saying she got growth after eight days i was shocked and which was the also which was also one of the main reasons why i want to try this and then i started seeing people posting about it and i was like you know what she's about to have a restock that is a sign that i need to get this and so yeah if i when i take out my braids if i do see actual growth i most likely will either buy another one of these or the full size i'm really hesitant if i would get the full size just because i said i don't like having these in my head the little pieces um but you know to each their own i don't think it's a major step back for me using the product but just my personal preference of like not liking those particles in my hair but yeah overall i do think it did work i do want to try it more on my edges because i'm i don't know i feel like when i when i did my edges i feel like there was a difference i could see like okay they looked a little bit more full a little bit more lengthy but it's not necessarily the length I want. I want the fullness so that my hairline is more full. This is the problematic side because I just always get braids. I still get braids now because I just, I like braids. I like having braids. They're a lot easier to manage for me. And I like the versatility of braids. Um, but yeah, I had one of my braids. I used to twist my braids and like pull my hair a lot like this, like nervously. And so one of my braids ended up being pulled out. And from there, I had like a huge spot like that just like the hair would not grow back. I do recommend this oil i will let you know down below in the, in the description my final thoughts and if i do actually see growth from when i started this before my braids versus after my braids i will try and put a correct timeline also i don't know if i mentioned this earlier in the video but the very first day i actually filmed it on my camera and this is filmed the rest was filmed on my phone hopefully you still enjoyed this video i hope you have a happy blessed beautiful day and yeah, continue to just exude good energy, be a positive person, and shoot for the stars, aim to reach your goals, and don't let anybody put you down, baby. Don't dim your light for anybody. <laughs> yeah, so. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Continue to be happy, blessed, and beautiful. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch all of my other videos as well, and leave recommendations down below for if you'd like to see anything else. You know, I like to include a variety of uploads and different activities on my channel because that is like the type of person that I am. I like a bunch of different things. I have interests in many different areas. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video, and also leave a comment. See you all. Bye. And my sleeve been messed up this whole time, y'all. <laughs> See y'all.